Hi. Hi class. So this will be a tutorial video on how to navigate OneDrive. So first, let us log in in office.com. Then, since I have already logged in my Microsoft credentials here, so I can, this is my dashboard. So it, on the side, you will see here all the Microsoft applications that are available in our accounts. Okay. So what if you have already up, um, logged in but in, not using your Microsoft account? You have to log out from your personal Office 365 accounts and log in using your St. Jude Catholic School Manila accounts. Okay. So, again, from this side, you will see all the Microsoft applications. And for now, we will focus first on the OneDrive app. Click on OneDrive. And here, you will see all your files. So, these are all my files. Okay. Then, on the side, you will see here your files. Okay, recent, all the things that you upload recently, all the files that you shared, and recycle bin. And here in the quick access part, you will see all your class teams. So for all the courses or the teams that you have uh, will be saved here and all the files that your teacher will upload in that uh, teams file or class will be uploaded automatically here in your OneDrive. So they are interconnected. Okay, now for our activity for today, I want you to learn how to um, upload a file here. So first, I will show you here. If you click on this new tab, you will see here that you can create a folder. You can also make your own document using this word app okay how is this different from the desktop so there are some functions that are not available here in the app in the in the app itself than the desktop so in desktop it's complete more complete than this but if you will only do basic um, typing or word file this will do already, okay? And it will automatically be saved in your OneDrive. You don't need to save them. Okay, so you can make your own, start your own Word document, Excel, a PowerPoint, also one notebook, and forms, okay? So for now, I will teach you first how to make a folder. So for this particular activity, I want you to follow this format. So click here, folder. And then follow the format um, batch. So seven, example, your section is A, seven A underscore your class number, example, 10 underscore your surname, all caps, mm, example, Chua. Then your name is, um, I think, Ian. So like that, underscore computer. So, again, this is the format, your batch, so 7A underscore class number underscore your surname. Because surname will be in all caps, cap, comma, your name, underscore computer, then create. Okay, as you can see, all the files that, or the folders or files that are newly uploaded will be placed on top of your um, OneDrive so that you can easily see it and then you can also see when you uploaded it when you up updated it so you can see also who modified it what is the file size and sharing is it private private it's for your eyes only or is it shared like this if it is shared you will see a two person there as an icon that this file has been shared with another person okay Okay, or someone share the file with you. So, for example, this is your folder, no? 7A10 Chua Ian Computer. Next, open that. Then we will now follow the, the 
what's indicated in activity number 2. So, in activity number 2, it asks you to, okay, una pala is to um, change your profile pic. So, pagka-open mo ng file mo, go to the right side, then yan, change profile pic mo lang dyan. Okay? Yan. You use your graduation picture if you don't have any ano, formal um, picture that you have, upload that there. Once it is already uploaded and it nag-reflect na siya dyan sa inyong OneDrive account, please take a screenshot of this portion. Then, go to Schoology, find their activity number 2 inside our course in Computer Week 1. There will, you will see their activity number 2 upload the file there okay do not directly send it to me in my in my ano um in my schoology account or gmail account you have to put it inside the activity too okay because that is where i'm gonna grade you okay next after you're done with that so you're now inside the folder right now you're gonna upload files. So, what are the files that I ask you to do? So, first, okay. Find a news article about Delta variant. Copy and paste in Word using proper citation. So, we open a new tab. We find a news article. News article about covid about COVID-19 Delta. Delta variant. Okay. Now, ito, the Guardian. So, for example, this is the, um, the news article that I want to share. I want to get the information. So, I'll just, okay, paano to? Yes, I'm happy, sabi niya. Okay. So, I'll just copy everything. So, ito. Yan. Control C. I'll get back here. And I will open a new word here. Not in my desktop, but the word inside the OneDrive. And I will paste. Okay. Then, I'll get back to the um, file. And I, I can also get this. Copy image. P. Okay. Yan. Balik hanggang every, everything. Except for the advertisement, of course. Control C. Control V. Okay. Ayan. Okay, yung blue lang. Ayan. Control C. Control V. Then, don't forget to cite your source. So, here, you will put here the source. Ayan. Then, you copy the link. Copy. Okay. Control V. So, in this way, we will not be... Um, be accused of plagiarizing uh, a work, no? So, we have to properly cite. So, lagyan i natin yan. Then, we, counting format, yung headings. Okay. Headings alignment. So, basically, all the functions in your desktop are also present here in the Word app. So, example, okay na siya. Then, we just you know that this is automatically saved. Ayan no? saved na siya. So, al al already automatically saved in your file. So, X ko na to. Then, go back. Oh, you see? There, there it is. Now, you have to change your um, file name. So, right-click, rename. So, I want you to rename this as News Article. So, that it, it's, it will be easier for me to check. Rename. Ayan. 
Next. Next task is to find an infographics about COVID-19, how to uh, pwedeng about the uh, vaccines, about how to about the symptoms, how to protect yourself, what are the uh, symptoms. So, okay, let us open again our desktop and look for info graphics about COVID-19. Then I will just choose the the infograph I that I want to share. Then it says here in the activity number two, I should paste it in a PPT. So I will get okay. For example, mm -hmm, I'm having a hard time choosing. So For example, this is what. Prepare for COVID-19 if you really on the end. Okay, so maybe this one. How do I prevent? Ayan, then I will copy the image. Okay, then I will go back to the folder that I made. Create new open PowerPoint. Okay, lahat. We do everything inside the OneDrive already. So here, we will now paste the the picture. Okay, ayaw niya. So, gusto niya control V. Yan. So, we just adjust the article or the picture. Yan. Okay. So, once we are uh, happy with the result, one page lang, if you want to uh, ano, do multiple pages, it's also allowed so once you're done with this again it is automatically saved so x na lang natin yan so let's go back oh yon you see it's already uh, saved in the folder so we rename this as rename as info graphics okay rename then after that Next. Next. Third activity is a uh, find a picture of your favorite artist. So, sino ba? Actually, I don't have a favorite acti artist, but hmm, sige. Kunyari, Blackpink. Pero hindi ko sila masyadong kilala. Pero okay lang. So, Blackpink, images, example, I will choose this picture of them. Ah, ito na lang. Ayan, parang pa-cute lang sila, di ba? So, copy copy image. Okay, I will save image para to. Save image. Black pink. Okay. Download save. Okay, now it is saved in my desktop computer. How will I make it appear here in my OneDrive? So, all I have to do is um, click Wait. Upload. Click upload files. Then look for the files that you're looking for. Open. Ayan. So, yan na. Blackpink underscore PUBG uh, JPEG. Okay. So, third na. So, I'm down to the next activity, which is find the YouTube video of the latest news about COVID 19. Copy and paste. In the link in Word app online, YouTube video. So do you know that when you use the the Word app, you can actually paste their uh, YouTube video and it will play. So let me show you how. So you go first to YouTube. Yeah. So hanap tayo dito na um COVID nineteen uh, Delta. Delta variant news. Ayan, siguro ito. Kasta, kahit ano tungkol sa COVID-19, Delta, yon. So, example, ito na yung gusto ko. Ay, no. So, nakikita na ho natin sumisipa na ang mga kaso. Okay, I will stop this. I will just get the link. Copy. 
I will go again to, to my folder, click New, Word. Then I will control V, the YouTube link. And ayun, no? So, yan. Very good, di ba? Nakita, nandiyan talaga siya. Display as pwedeng embedded content or hyperlink. So, that's it. So, let's see if it will play. So, nakikita na ho natin yung sumisipa na ang mga kaso. Word, but Tumataas it's na po ang kaso. Play. Nararamdaman na po nakikita. Quarantine diba? risk uh, further ngayon is to prevent. Taas o halos dokid. Ito po ba yung sinas... Bagamat hindi pa natin. Okay, that's it. So, again, this is already saved in our file. So, let's just exit. Okay, X ko lang yan. Lahat. Okay, so... News article infographics, itong document, rename natin yan na YouTube. YouTube, ba oh, hindi? Yan. Rename. So, now that you have all the four, um, four things that are required of you to do the activity number two, next thing that you should do is screenshot this. For so example, I will print screen. Okay? Print screen ko na yan. Then, I will go to Schoology. Okay? You don't, you will not submit it directly to my email or to my Schoology mail, but you have to go to your Yeah, you have to go to your own Schoology accounts and look for our course. Example, uh, 7D. Example, 7D. So, it's there also in your courses, week 1. Then, you will see like this, activity number 2, OneDrive. Then, upload nyo na dun. Okay, so example, I will click on the preview, ha? Yan. So, this is what you will see in your own um, activities or inside the folders. Attach here the screenshot of the change in profile pic in Microsoft Office. So, dito mo i-paste yung kanina. Then, next, attach here the screenshot of your OneDrive with four files. Yun. pag ka na, pass. Okay. So, yun na. Tapos, ay, di pa pala, may huli pa. Tapos nun, go back here sa OneDrive natin. Okay, so, back lang. So, you have to share this file with me. How? You will click on this. Share. Ayan. Then, look for my name. Ana. Ayan, no. Ana Margarita Tuazon Faculty. Not the student one. All teachers have the student accounts because this is for us to be able to see the student's view. But you have to send to the faculty, which is me. Ana Margarita Tuazon Faculty. But I cannot share it with myself, di ba? So, I will choose another teacher. For example, Miss Joan Abel. She's also a computer teacher. I will share it with her. So, siya lang. Then, in case someday you want to share a folder or a file to a friend or someone that you need to share the file with, you can add a message. Okay, and then choose zero. Anyone with the link and edit. Do you agree with that? Click on it if you don't want. I And I want you to make me not an editor, but only a viewer. So, I'm only a viewer. There should be no check here in this part. So, okay lang yung anyone with link. O, pwede rin piliin mo para secure tayo. People in St. Jude Catholic School pa nila with the link. So, hindi pwede pag hindi part ng St. Jude Catholic School. So, pag I allow editing, ayan. Pag anyone with the link, kung gusto mo masecure yung file, okay, you can also set an expiration date. Okay, so that it will automatically be deleted to that person. Kunyari, you have a project and it's only due for like a week, then on Friday, you have to submit it already. So, you can set the deadline or expiration date ng Saturday. Saturday, your friend or someone that you share the file with will no longer have access to your file. 
okay and if the file is really super super um private it's like uh, a recipe that you don't want to share with others you don't secret recipe of your cookies so you set a password and just tell the password to the person and then saka pa lang niya ma-access yung files okay then apply so for me it's okay lang so people with people in Saint Catholic school do not allow me to edit and then apply send so you will see this link sent then you will see also that yun nag change na siya from private nagkaroon na siya ng shared na uh, icon okay that's it for today and i hope you will be able to follow the instructions uh, and you will be able to finish the activity for the day. Thank you, class. Bye!